What's going on everybody? I am here today to give you another quick tutorial today. Uh, this is actually kind of a phase one out of two phases for this sort of issue. Uh, what we're going to try to do is tackle the disk read issue for the original Xbox. Um, I say phase one because uh, uh, there's actually two ways to fix it. The first one, uh, just to be clear, uh, is never uh, long term. And by long term, I consider a long term fix of at least uh, six over six months, lasting over six months. Now, some people may be able to get six more months out of use, um, but it's typically not going to be quite that for most people. And the reason I say that is by the time you're trying to do this, you've probably already wore out the laser, you've probably been having the disc read issue for a while now, and the longer you have it and the more you try to force it to read, you know, eject it and push it back in many times, the longer you've done that, the more damage you've done to the laser. Um, and for some of you, what I'm about to show you may not work at all, um, because it may just be the laser just too far gone. Uh, and if that's the case, I am going to have another tutorial. Uh, and as you can see, that link has popped up now. Um, simply click on that link and you can go to phase two. And this is a more permanent fix. It does require some parts that you're going to need to buy, um, which is something typically you'll be able to get on Amazon or eBay. Uh, but this is for people who don't want to try that yet. Uh, it doesn't. It's not going to cost you anything unless you just don't have the stuff sitting around. Uh, for this, I wouldn't really call this a repair tutorial. This is actually something I would consider more maintenance, um, but it will help repair if you're having some of the disc read issues. Now, before I get started, uh, I want to clear up a few rumors. Uh, a lot of tutorials out there and a lot of things that I've seen myself, um, they don't do a good job of telling you what you need to clean the laser off with, which is basically what we're doing today. We're just giving it a good clean. Um, you never want to use water. That is the last thing you want to use. Um, typically, I wouldn't use anything except for this, which is glass cleaner. Um, the reason why you use glass cleaner is because uh, that's a clear surface that needs to have a clean, clear finish on it. If you use water or most anything else, it'll leave streaks uh, and residue, uh, which could uh, make the clean you just spent your time, you know, doing it completely useless. Um, glass cleaner is usually streak-free, uh, so that's why that's the best thing to use uh, because it's not going to leave a residue. It's not going to leave crap all over the top of it. Um, and that's what I prefer. Now, if you just for some reason don't have glass cleaner, uh, the next best thing is nail polish remover. I say that because um, the way it works, uh, will it really won't leave streaks or residue on it. Um, it will actually leave a little residue, but the residue left on it will not disrupt the laser beam. Uh, but you do need to be careful with the nail polish remover because if you get a little too overzealous with how much you put on it, uh, you could end up causing damage to some of the plastic pieces in there. Uh, so you just want to barely put a little bit uh, on your Q-tips when you're clean, um, if that's what you're using. So keep that in mind if that's what you're, the method you're going to go for. Uh, nail polish remover is also good if you have something else besides just dust on there. Um, Say if you've spilled a soda or the dust for some reason is just kind of cakey and nasty and it's a little bit harder to get off, if you use nail polish remover, it will easily take all the gunk off. And you could even, uh, if you want to be real thorough, use nail polish remover first and then go to the glass cleaner to make sure you have a nice clean finish on everything. Um, so this is really simple. There's not a lot to it. Uh, the main things I'm going to show you are just to be careful uh, and, uh, you know, not get too overzealous with everything and your application. Um, with this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray a little bit. You know, I've just got a little spray bottle here. I'm just going to spray a little bit on the tip. Okay. Now, see there, I put just a little bit too much. You can see, uh, hopefully you can tell that it's really, really blue now. Uh, 
that's a little bit too much. I would say I'd try to use a little less than that just because if you, when you push down on here and you clean, it'll ooze. And if you get into some of the crevices, uh, it takes longer for that stuff to dry out and get out of there. And uh, you could run the chance of plugging everything back up, still having a little bit of liquid in there, and then frying your entire Xbox. So you definitely want to make sure after you do this to give just a little bit of time before you put everything back together and plug it back in. So simply all you're going to do is just take the end you've applied and just rub it gently around the laser area. As you do this you'll realize that the little laser eye does move freely. So that's why you don't want to put too much pressure. Uh, that's why you don't want to you know, really scrub unless you have no other choice. Um, another thing, good thing to do is uh, clean around it. The, this particular one has a small metal casing around the outside. Different lasers have different looks. Um, just don't try to get too much around electrical components and stuff like that with the cleaning. It just makes it easier and give you some peace of mind that you know you're not going to have you know a short circuit because everything hasn't dried up by the time you get it plugged back in. Um, you you always want to try to clean the other areas around. Um, this is the spindle motor, which is what the disc rests on. There's a little rubber piece, and that's always good to do, and good to just kind of wipe off a little bit. And the reason why I say all this is because if you simply clean the laser lens and then leave all the dust everywhere else inside, within a few days all that dust is going to fall on the laser lens and you'll be right back in the same spot. Um, another place, good place to look is usually around the edges. Over here towards the edge is usually where most of your dust build up and probably where most of the dust that ends up on the laser comes from. Um, so anytime you see some little dust around the outside case, and definitely clean that off uh, because it, you know you don't have to worry about getting into the electronical components with it, so you can scrub and uh, rub as much as you want. So I've got some of that cleaned up, and when you get a lot of gunk on it, you know you can always switch to the other side so that you don't just spread more around. Um, after you've got that done, I always suggest going back lightly with the dry end of the Q-tip and just making sure that you've kind of wiped off in case you had a little bit puddle on there um, because although it's streak free if you leave a big puddle load on there you're still going to have some sort of stuff that's going to um, protrude and get in the way of the laser beam. So it's always good to just lightly but don't do too hard once again because you could leave particles from the Q-tip on the laser. So you want to be careful. I always use kind of a turning motion like this when I'm wiping it up. That makes sure that most of the particles will get, if any, get wiped right back up if they stick on it. Now that's pretty much it for this phase. Um, there's really nothing else I can tell you about this um, besides making sure that you don't just hook everything up immediately. Uh, you don't have to wait two or three hours, but I would say give Make sure it's at least 15 to 20 minutes uh, before you actually plug your Xbox back in and test it out. Um, now, if you test it out and this hasn't worked at all, then you're, two you're on phase two of getting this repaired. Um, as you can see, the link has pop popped up again, and you'll need to click on this link uh, to get a permanent fix and an actual fix for what's going on. Um, one thing I can say about that is that you will need to be prepared to purchase a new laser. Uh, I wouldn't say you should. You would have to spend more than 10 US dollars on a new laser, um, I'm, although I'm sure it differs from time to time what you can find on eBay or Amazon. Um, but I would say around $10 would be a good guesstimation for what you need to spend. Um, anyways, I hope this helps and I hope for most of you, this is all you need to do for now to get uh, some good time out of it. Um, if you have any other questions, or uh, I know there's different versions of uh, Xboxes. Um, you know, if you have any questions about things you should or shouldn't do, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Um, also, if you are not quite sure how to get to this stage where you've just got the drive, I have another tutorial, and as you can see, there's a link. Another link that's popped up. That tutorial will show you how to break down your Xbox in full and show you how to get your drive separated so you can get back to this point and then come back to this video. Um, 
anyways, I hope you guys subscribe. I have a lot of other cool tutorials, uh, a lot of cool case modding for uh, video game consoles, and just a lot of other cool stuff. Uh, so subscribe is completely free, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, anyways, until next time, bye.